10 million coins. I don't even know how that is possible, but this guy has been able to do it, and that is just crazy, guys. Some GG's up in the comment section right now. Show some respect for this guy. 10 million pro... Uh, I cannot believe this. Now, in this video, we're going to have a look at a couple of tips and tricks that uh, he used to get to 10 million coins. And obviously, I've been talking to him today. So, I'm going to leave a link to his, uh, to his Twitter at the top of the description. Make sure you guys go and drop him a follow. Drop him a follow. Tell him that I sent to you. And you can see his methods and stuff as well on Twitter. I'm not going to be talking about everything in this video. But, uh, what a man, guys. I've been talking to him today. And he let me make this video about him. And uh, he's also sent me some useful tips to you guys uh, that you uh, need to know uh, in order to try to make it to 10 million coins or just, you know, Know, get some tips in general and hopefully get uh, a little bit better in trading this is the playstation leaderboards guys and uh, yeah i'm nowhere near the top obviously i've only made a couple million transfer profit this year haven't done too much trading as i usually would have done at the beginning of every single fifa but uh, you know still uh, i'm pretty happy about what i've done so far this year now this guy is indeed on the xbox one and that is where he's been doing his trading so to, if you guys are on the xbox one let me know in the comment section where he is his gamer tag is like i golden bear and um, so check it out because i think it's like top 20 and uh, he's definitely got like over 10 million transfer profit uh, which is just ridiculous the first thing he told me and the most important thing is that you need to know the market guys spend a few hours get to know the market get to know the player prices I've also been talking about that a lot and uh, you know if you spend quite a few hours uh, on having a look at the player prices that is good because usually what they go for you know when they're going up in price when they're going down in price and when to actually pick them up also, this guy does not really trade with like 20 to 30,000 coins. He only focuses on the big players. As you guys can see, Martyr has been doing some trading with legend cards. And uh, he's been picking up legend cards and special cards in the 59th minute. And uh, has been working really great for him this year. And I've also noticed that myself that, you know, picking up a bit expensive players in like the 59th minute, sometimes they are there for very cheap. And you guys should go and get him. And obviously, have a look at the, uh, the, the expensive ones, as you guys can see in the screen right now. The higher rated informs are the ones to go for. Even the, even the normal cards like Messi and stuff are good to go with. Um, so, focus on the big ones. If you guys only trade with like 20, 30,000 coins, this is not really going to be a video for you. But if you are up there with like, you know, a few hundred thousand coins, this is definitely going to be a video for you. And uh, yeah, that is what we're going to be focusing on. I'm going to mention a couple things he told me. So when this guy finds something cheap, he usually buys the player on Sunday to Wednesdays and sell them during the Friday or, you know, a start of the weekend when the players actually go up in price. Especially this year as well. It's been kind of affected with, you know, the, the fruit champions. So uh, usually Fridays when he sells on the players and he usually picks up the players at the end of the week or at the start of the week uh, when the players are cheap. Once again, I have to mention a 59 minute method. He usually is indeed on the market and looking at players. And if he finds something cheap in the 59 minute, he obviously goes and picks them up. Sometimes it can be cheaper for like 50,000 coins. Other times it can be like 100,000 coins. It's absolutely insane. And that is what happens when they do trading with, uh, with you know, the higher rated cards. Not the lower rated ones because they do not go for that much. But the ones expensive informs and stuff. Uh, sometimes they could be on the market for like 30k cheaper. That's when he picks them up and then sells it on. Uh, when we get closer to the food champions. Because that is when players actually go up in price. Now, he also told me that the good thing this year is to invest in Korean cards. And as you guys know, I did this with the silver cards this year uh, for Korean players right before uh, the player of the month came out. And uh, yes, guys, I made myself 200,000 coins or something in like, I think it was uh, 10 minutes, which was crazy. So uh, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe for that. I'm going to let you guys know uh, when we get the next player of the month. And I'll let you guys know the investments you should do uh, before that actually comes out on Ultimate Team so you can make yourself some great coins. I asked him what the hype is for the weekend league and when should sell them on. And he says that Friday morning is when most of the players are the highest price. They get a bit cheaper on Saturday night and Sunday they usually go down into Monday. So as we mentioned earlier, he picks up the cheapest players during Mondays at the start of the week. It's always like some sort of a cycle. Uh, you know, the players are expensive uh, the most expensive at Friday around Saturday and then you know at the end of the week, at the start of the week when it's over, they usually go down again. People sell on their squads and that is when you should pick them up. He also says to me that having a trading squad usually is working pretty good. You know, have a couple people that you trade with, discuss the market and strategize with them and uh, you get to know the market obviously even more and uh, which players to pick up and stuff so just have a couple people around if you're able to do that uh, to be able to go ahead and discuss and which players to pick up and get to know the market even better now this was just a few tips on how this guy actually does in the trades if you guys want to see a few methods let's go for let's go for 3,000 likes on this video and I'll do more videos with this guy we can maybe do a couple methods as well uh, to show you guys what he actually does but if you guys want to see another one smash 3,000 likes on this one and uh, we'll do more but anyway that's it for now thank you so much for watching make sure you guys go Drop me a massive follow, and I'll see you guys soon.